All right. Shalom. Shalom. All right. First and foremost, of course, we want to give all praises, all glory, and all honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakhakadash. We also want to give double honors unto our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men whom taught us this truth. All right. And pretty much, man, you know, we're just going to bring out some precepts and speak on a video, you know, that me and the brother here uh, watched uh, sometime during the week, you know. Basically about, uh, and Lord's will, uh, we'll put the link in the description for you brothers that might want to see it. About how these uh, these devils, man, these Edomites, man, the so-called white man, they, uh, they what, man, they pretty much, man, they, they, uh, they had their little uh, torture tactics, man, that they did to the, uh, to our, uh, you know, to, to our brothers, man, the Issacharites, man. All right, which are you uh, so-called Mexicans? You are, you're actually not Mexicans, man. You are from the tribe of Issachar and the Hebrew Yashashkar, which means he is higher. Okay, and what, man? When you watch the video, man, a few things, you know, before we get the precepts out, um, a few of the things that they did in the videos, man, they humiliated the the, the, the mess out of our brothers, man. All right, you know they, um, you know these Edomites made up uh, lies, you know, because you know they love to do that. That's their favorite thing to do, man. They made up lies. Well, Besides, you know, oppressing and, and hurting us, you know, they made up lies about, um, you know, saying that the Issacharites were bringing, could, could bring diseases to America, which is a lie because the people with diseases and the dirty people are you Edomites, man. All right. Y'all the real, uh, you Edomites are, Edomites are the real niggers, man. All right. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, man. Nah, all jokes aside, you Edomites are the real, are the real niggers, man. All right. You know, and talking about they was in the uh, in the video they were saying that uh, Mexicans were diseased, calling us greasers, man. Got, and that's the that's the curses, man, calling us uh, uh, bywords and such. I'll give you the screenshot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I'm gonna read something from the uh, from the video, a letter that these devils, that one devil wrote to another. You know, um, and it says, uh, and I believe it was a uh, it was received at Wyatt Building, uh, C O R fourteenth. Oh, it's a lot. Fourteenth Street. And F Street, Washington D.C. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah. okay. And I, it was, I believe it's from El Paso, Texas, right? That's right. It's from it's from Texas well, to uh, D.C. No, it was the other way around. It was oh, from D.C. to, to uh, Texas. Yeah, oh yeah, come. The, the head of the surgeon of, of the um, one of the concentration camps. Yeah, come. Right? Yeah, be, oh yeah, yeah. By the way, they had uh, our brothers in concentration camps, man. All right, and we're gonna speak on a little bit, and like you know, like we said, you know, the, the video is gonna, Lord willing, we'll, we'll post a uh, link in the description. Your brothers can watch it, man. Yeah, I actually really recommend watching it. You yeah, know? you know, yeah, because these devils, man, these devils are gonna pay for what, for the humiliation that they put put us through, man. Because we're the Lord's chosen people, man, and we're gonna get the precepts, uh, you know, to to speak on it. But basically, mm -hmm. it's about uh, this is a letter that they wrote, man. Uh, you know, from one devil to another. Sure. Uh, behind the behind the scenes. What's his name? Han Rupert Blue. <laughs> uh, Surgeon General Washington D.C. Hundreds dirty, lousy, destitute Mexicans mm. arriving at El Paso daily. You know it's funny because uh, a lot of brothers and me, you know I, I say that I speak for a lot of brothers that you know, we we would much rather prefer Edomites being openly just just embracing that that openly Edomite. Edomite spirit, you know. Yes, I, lo I love the Edomites that tell you that they hate you to your face, cause it's like, wow, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're showing it here, but you know, yeah. behind closed doors, one, e <laughs> one yeah. devil to another. Cause that's 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 his true spirit, you know. The ones that are out there hiding, like, oh man, you know, the ones that are like, you know, all, you know, happy go lucky, you know, peaceful and stuff like okay. that, man. They're just hiding their their uh, they're hiding their their inner, their inner Edomite, you know, mm -hmm. behind that whole that coexist spirit, you know. They're, they're hiding behind that, you know, because it's always Edomites with that sticker, in case, in case, if you brothers know what we're talking about. Uh, let me continue reading from the top. Hundreds dirty, lousy, destitute Mexicans arriving at El Paso daily, which El Paso, I believe, is in Texas, right? Yes. yes. Will undoubtedly, this is what these devils are saying about our brothers, man, will undoubtedly bring and spread typhus hmm. unless a quarantine is placed at once. Yeah, it's funny because um, who, um, whoever wrote that, was overreacting because that that wasn't even implemented, you yeah. know. And and what they did basically was um the, with that whole uh this ordeal at the border. This mm -hmm. is what during the uh early nineteen hundreds. All right, so so this is an ongoing problem. Yeah. You know? yeah. People in the comments just just treating us like zoos. You know, like po poking us with sticks with these dumb comments on the YouTube pages. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's a that's a thing, man. You know, and, and that's how you know we're under the curses, man. Because whenever it's a situation, I remember like years back about the whole swine flu thing. I remember they used to say it was the Mexicans that had it. Man, these devils, man. You know. Uh, you know, hey, but with, with their actions, they're they're fulfilling uh, uh, what the scriptures say. 
that what that what in pursuing to uh, the book of Psalms, we, we were going to be a shaking of the head among the nations. Yeah, the, and yeah. if I could say something real quick, man, yeah. that that just shows, man, you you devils, man, hey, man, you can't hide anymore, man. You know, you 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 your actions just show us even more that you're Edomites, man. Yeah. You know. I'm getting this. Go ahead. This is Zechariah chapter two, verse eight. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you mm -hmm. toucheth the apple of his eye. Yep, Khan. Yeah, and guess what, man? You you Edomites and you other nations too, but you know, right now we're talking about Esau because that, that's the, the topic at hand because of uh, you know the video that we watched. Hey man, you put your hands on us, man. All right, and, and guess what, man? The Lord remembers, man. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and that that brings joy to our hearts, man. That yeah. the Lord remembers what what you devils did to us, man. What you Edomites, the so-called white man, what you did to us. Hey, man, you devils gonna pay. Could, could I read the rest of this, or did you want to read that? No, that's good enough. This is um, yeah. Isaiah chapter, the book of Isaiah chapter ten, verse one. Oh wait, wait, wait. If I could get this real quick, because we're gonna tie that to that. Yeah. Yeah. So it says, um, we'll bring in spread typhus unless a quarantine is placed at once. Overreacting on yeah. purpose. The city of El Paso, backed by its medical board and, and state and state, federal, and militia officials here feel that the government should put a quarantine slash please investigate and advise me this is necessary to avoid ty to avoid ty typhus epidemic. Mm -hmm. yeah, Tom Leah and I, I don't know. Yeah, that's that's yeah. all I said. Which they're they're really inconsistent because I thought uh, really when you watched the video first it was a, a smallpox problem, lice. then it was a lice problem. So right. it's, you know they're just they, making stuff up. Yeah. But the point is though, behind closed doors, this is how they they openly feel what calling us destitute, lousy, calling the Israelites, you know, like calling them names. greasers and stuff like yeah, that. Greasers. If I may say, because you know, of course, people, you know, they they might think like, oh, okay, so what? They did that to them. Well, it's like, well, man, man, these. These devils, man, they humiliated the the. Not only did they humiliate the shit out of our brothers, man. Hey, man, they did a lot to 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 the to our brothers down there, man. Mm -hmm. They sprayed them with. First off, they sprayed them with chemicals that are meant to kill bugs. So they sprayed uh, chemicals that that can give them sicknesses, man. They mm -hmm. sprayed chemicals that can kill them, to to our brothers, man. All right. And yeah, it's a lot. Oh, and these were the so-called procedures that you needed to to get over the borders. So yeah. If I, can, uh, if I can say something real quick. Yeah. Um. Yeah, oh yeah, real quick, because I just wanted to touch on the point, what they did to us so we can get to the scriptures. Because what else did they do to us, man? The, uh, I think it was a lady that talked about it too. She said that what they, what the police used to do, man, the police used to be down there, right? When they were quarantining, basically they would strip all the people naked. You know, you brothers can watch the video. It's better explained in the video, but I just want to mention it real quick. They would strip all, all the men and the women naked, man. And guess what these devils used to do, man? These devils, when the women would be stripped naked, all right, these devils would take photographs of them and take them to, to bars, man. For these devils to look at, man. You know? Y'all devils are going to pay for that too, man. Yeah. Alright? And you're going to pay for humiliating the men like that. Because we know these Edomites are natural homosexuals, man. You know? Mm -hmm. get, get, uh, they they want to see those things, man. These devils are going to pay for that too, yeah. man. And, and, and you know, because th that, that wasn't even the event that really sparked up. Because, uh, you know, uh, when you watch the documentary, mm -hmm. it goes into a riot that yeah. was started by a woman. Which, is you know, that's off. You know, yeah, you know, you know, you know our, that just shows Israel. that's just another another nigga woman, you know. Man. Yeah, right. <laughs> they, they, they even labeled this woman uh, Carmelita Torres. Okay, that's this, her name, right? Uh, this seventeen-year-old protest protester, whatever, whatever you call them. Oh, and, which by the way, real quick, which, by the way, once she was arrested, she was never well, she was never seen again, right? She was never seen or heard of or whatever. Yeah. So who knows what these devils did to her, man? And guess what, man? You devils are gonna pay, man, because that's still an Israelite, man. Yeah. That's still a uh, that's still a. Uh, uh, one of uh, uh, the Lord's chosen people, man. Yeah, who, and, who and you touched, man. And it's, it's an insult because what they call it the uh, the Hispanic Rosa Parks, or yep. the Latino Rosa Parks. Yep, yep. Why, why is that? Oh, yeah, no, a man just compared her to Rosa Parks. They, so, yeah, they did call her that, something like that. Because no, I think Rosa Parks was after the years. But yeah, go ahead. Exactly. Well, that's what they called her. But the uh, mm -hmm. point is, though, but the reason why they even call, they called it that, I know why, <laughs> is because they, they were both part of a <laughs> vain uh, movement started by Jake. You know? Oh yeah, two movements that didn't succeed to nothing. Yeah, because that just got them jacked up. You know? Yeah, and it just and it just goes to show when Jake picks a carnal means of doing things. You know, when they when they want to go when they want to pick up a sword against the man whose blessing is the sword. You 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 uh yeah, two thirds up. of our nation gets gets jacked up, man. Because that's yeah. the two thirds. That's what they that's what they're gonna do. Yeah, uh, this is uh, so the lucky, book of Isaiah ahead. chapter ten verse one. Con. Woe unto them that the decree unrighteous decrees. Yep. And that right gr grievousness. Which they have prescribed. Yep. Yeah. So th that was an unrighteous decree, man. You you you're, you're treating us like cattle. They even said that in the documentary. You oh yeah. Come the, on. the procedures, so-called procedures that you did just to get over the damn border, which which that land isn't even yours. Yeah. That, that belongs to the Israelites, right. And the Gadites and the Reubenites. 
right? Our brothers. Yep. Who are Israelites? Yep. Okay. You 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 made them go through these unrighteous procedures, man. Making them strip naked like damn livestock, like cattle. Yeah, right. You know, like beasts upon the earth. They were the one of the ladies. I believe it was a lady. She said that they were checking them. Just like livestock, you know, they yeah, probably treated right. them like and, dogs. And what started that rioting was uh, the uh, this procedure that they did with uh, the oh, as a lot. If I could say, I think they did them. T they they would redo the procedures every eight days or something like that, right. or every, every few days. Right. Every eight days. And what started that rioting was uh, that the acid baths. What? Uh, unsurprisingly, these devils, <laughs> the the uh, the dang pesticides were actually flammable. Yep. And the Edomite, and you know it was on purpose, they lit a cigarette and they knew what they were doing and, and, and lit those Isakrites on fire, burning mm -hmm. alive. Yeah, man. These devil, yeah, man, you devils are going to pay for what you did to our people, man. All right? Damn shame, bro. Yeah, man. If I can get, uh, you want to get Sirach Psalms. right now? Psalms. Oh, Psalms? Psalms 3. All right. Yeah, man, because, uh, you don't want Sirach first? Hmm? Psalms first? Uh, nah, bro. Uh, hold that, though. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, because now we're going to speak on, man, that, that hey, man. We're going to speak on our enemies, all right? Go ahead. This is Psalms 83 and 1. Be keep nations. Me. Psalms 83 and 1. Keep, keep not thou silence, O Lord. Hold not hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies, the enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lift up the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go. It's okay. Let's go to work. Um, for lo, thine enemies... You see that? It's just, it's just labeled them as enemies. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Yep. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Yeah, which that's what they did. <clears throat> they consulted against who, man? The Israelites. That's the hidden ones, all right? Because we were, what, hidden in, in plain sight, man. You know, we're hidden in plain sight, being called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Indians, and, and everything else. That's not our true nationality, which our true name is Israel. We're Israelites. Go ahead. Yeah, it says that they take them crafty counsel. All right, it says, yep. they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation, mm -hmm. that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, man. And they do that, calling us uh, destitute and lousy Mexicans. Yep. What the hell is a Mexican? Yeah, right. Come on, man. Which it does go back to, uh, eventually, but it goes back to a Hebrew word. But still, that that's still not our nationality, you know? It, it, our nationality is, is uh, you know, hey, man, we're Bunyam, Shal, Yashar, Allah, man, sons of Israel. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Go uh, ahead. Yeah. It says, for they have con consulted together... They have consulted together with one consent. They are, they are confederate against thee, mm -hmm. the tabernacles of Edom. And if and that's kind of the point, but you know we keep reading on down. It lists, it lists uh, other heathens because yeah. that's our enemies. That's what we were mentioning. You know that who oh, was yeah, going to list right. our enemies. Yeah, you, know? you got it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. And you know we're going to speak on we're going to speak on our enemies, man. What what did the Lord you know what what, what did the Lord tell us about our enemies, man? What what do the scriptures say about our enemies? What do they what did the scriptures tell us, man? You know, this is Sirach chapter twelve and ten. Never trust thine enemy. Never. Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Mm -hmm. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed. Yeah. So when these, you know, when these, because these devils, man, they, they come crouching, man. We, we can't forget that these devils, man, are, are, are witches and warlocks, man. These Edomites, all right? So what? They, they uh, mentioned in another video, man, they paint, you know, because, you know, we, brothers as brothers know, man, they... Uh, they practice witchcraft, man, and they paint themselves as as the um, you know as uh, as harmless people. Yeah. You know, growing oh, up since since oh go ahead. Because what we read in Psalm eighty three that they said that they take and craft the council. Because really, man, hey, let's be honest, they're, they're trying to kill us. Yeah, <laughs> they're trying to kill the Israelites. And you know, it's yes, funny because Shalaki, what 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 uh what that dude that that great guy Hitler over there in Germany, in Nazi Germany, you know, when he did that so called Holocaust to, mm -hmm. to those Jews, he he got that whole idea of the gas chambers from. What, what these Edomites were doing over here to the real Jews. Yep. All right, to the real Israelites, which mm -hmm. were the, you know, from the tribe of Issachar. Yep. Oh, you must believe uh, uh, Zebulon was in that train, too. Oh, yeah, more than likely because they're right next to each other. Obviously. So, you know, you had a lot of another tribe up there, uh, you know, just uh, being in those chambers, man. Yep, con. Yeah, that's what, hey, man, these devils, man, that's what they do to us, man. The scriptures say that they, uh, in their pride, they just persecute the poor, roughly paraphrasing. I believe it's in uh, you, uh... Psalms 10. I'm going to read this and then get Psalms 10 real quick. Uh, Sirach uh, 12 and 10, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed, and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as, as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know. Salak, so Salak, so I lost my place. That's why I like holding it up. And, and thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, man. You know? 
These yeah. devils, man, basically, you know. They're not going to change. Yeah, these devils come up crouching, being all humble. Hey, man, take good heed, man. Because that's when he's trying to make his attack. What, yeah. what is what does Psalm say? Let me get two precepts real quick. Yeah, you can't make a bird not fly. This is what he's meant to do. Right. Fly. This Saul is meant to be a devil. Yep, this is Psalm. So like, he can't just not be innocent. Yeah, and I'm going to read this scripture real quick. This is Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they yet were they drawn swords. Con. And that that's the thing, man. These devils, man, they, they come up with their little sweet words, man, painting themselves as the this like, you know, good guy. And hey man, they're really trying to hurt us, man. They're trying to put us down, you know. If I can get this real quick, this is Psalm chapter ten and two. The wicked, which are the Edomites, in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Con. Yeah, these these uh, Edomites, man, they, they persecute the poor. The poor being you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites, all right? You know? Okay. That's, they, they persecute us, man. Day in, day out, day and night, man. You yeah. know? It's, you gotta... not, it's not going to go unpunished either. Yep, no, yeah. you did. Yeah. Um, oh, you're in Ezekiel already? Yeah, Con. Ezekiel ch uh, chapter 35, verse 1. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man... Set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. All right. So we're meant to 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 to, to, to you know to tell your brothers what, what what's going on. You know what what these devils do on a daily basis. Yeah. If I could say real quick in Jeremiah forty nine and ten it says that uh, the Lord has made Esau bear. So now we are what 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 have what have uh, of course beginning starting with our elders and apostles man we figured out who Esau is according to prophecy and we're able to tell you who he is man according to prophecy. All right. Go ahead. Son of man. Oh, so I already read that. Verse 3, and say unto it, unto the Edomites, you know, because what, uh, the, uh, the mountain seer that represents the, uh, uh, you know, these Edomites. Mm -hmm. right? It says, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord power, behold, O mount seer, I am against thee, and I will stretch, so like, I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee the most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred which the word perpetual means continuous, mm -hmm. and, and, and the actions show that. Yep. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword and the mm -hmm. calamity, mm -hmm. and the time of their iniquity had an end. Right, because what well, those Issacharites, and not just the Issacharites, you know, obviously you can't forget about the, the enslavement of our, of our southern tribe, Akim, or our brothers, yeah, and yeah. obviously the other northern tribes too, you know, the Gadites, Reubenites, uh, uh, those Nephtalites had an ass whooping too by those uh, conquistadors, all of the us Asherites, oh, yeah. I could go on. Yeah, you know? man. But it was all just because what we we rebelled against the Lord in times past. But what? what? Because what Edom done with well, these, these Edomites is going to be just for us to, to repay back what, what they did to us, right? Ten times worse. Yep. And yep. that's going to be just as well. Yeah. The scriptures say we're going to render unto them double. Mm -hmm. All right. It go says ahead. because thou hast had a uh, yeah verse six. Therefore, as I live, say the Lord power, I will I will prepare thee unto blood. And blood shall pursue thee. Mm -hmm. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Con. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, in thy hills and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy cities shall not return, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahabashim Yahushai. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Just total extermination. Come on, can yeah. I grab a precept real quick? This is Second Thessalonians one and six. Like seeing it is con, seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense <clears throat> tribulation to them that trouble you. So all these other people, man, and it's prophecy, man, that these other nations are gonna uh, get get their judgment for what they did unto our nation, man. We're gonna put them in slavery, and we're gonna just you know jack them up, man, real nice, man. And you Edomites, you're you're um, ultimately their judgment in the end is extermination, man. Just read that. Yep. You the know. scriptures say here is the patience. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. I'm going to just get that real quick and we'll close out. Revelation is 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right. Because we're holding our faith, man. Yahweh Shai is coming back soon, man. Lord willing, we're of that 144,000, man. We will get to bring vengeance upon our enemies, man. Okay. All right? right. And hey, man, Yahweh Shai is coming soon, man. He's going to uh, recompense, man. He's going to pay back, man. He's going to pay back these heathen for what they did to us, man. All right? So we're that's all. We're going to put you in acid baths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yep, con. Yeah, we're yeah. not. We're going to put him in new new chemicals, man. That, oh, yeah. that, that, that is the wicked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Believe. 
Ooh, yeah, who knows? Hey, man, the scriptures say the saints shall meditate, the, uh, the heart shall meditate terror, you know, loosely yeah, paraphrasing, man. In the scriptures. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so that's all the scriptures that we had. You know, Lord, hey, hey, brothers, check that video out, man. All right, we're going to put the link in the description, Lord's will, all right? So with that, we want to say, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachar, Kodash. Double honors to our elders and apostles, the great millstone, the men whom taught us is truth. And a sincere shalom, a barak, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right? Shalom. Shalom.